Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to learn about that how we can find hidden parameters on a particular endpoint. So before going into this video, if you haven't checked out our website yet which is bepractical.tech then I recommend you to check that out. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it right here on the screen. Right, so just open your browser and go to the website. There we are providing awesome labs related to cyber security as well as web development. So you can practice your account takeover skills and we are planning to add more labs later on and uh, let me show you the labs so as you can see right now we have account takeovers labs but we are soon planning to add more uh, more labs later on so you can go ahead and check them out and one more thing that all of these labs are based on real world scenarios so go ahead and check it out and also if you haven't watched out my previous video in which i have shown you that how we can uh, enumerate more subdomains to increase your bug bounty scope or even if you are doing a penetration testing in some company then Go ahead and check it out. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the video. Now, with that being said, finally, let's get started. So let us talk about that, why it is important for us to find hidden parameters. So I'm going to show you, and uh, I'm going to uh, tell you a story about how I found a vulnerability in Red Bull. Basically, there was an, a subdomain and that subdomain, there was no URS at all. So I was about to give up, but then I used this tool and by using this tool it returned me so many parameters so many urls would have multiple parameters in it now on testing each of these parameters i found a one parameter that was vulnerable to cross site scripting and then i reported that to the company and they rewarded me with the red bull cans right so this is why a uh, parameter finding is very very important right because if there are some hidden parameters the chances are that they they are not as secured compared to the other uh, endpoint, right? So this is why you should always look for these hidden uh, parameters. Also, one more thing: suppose you have visited a domain that is returning a four zero three forbidden, right? So don't give up there. Just uh, try to extract some of the URLs and use this tool, which I'm going to show you in this video, which will help you to find uh, more URLs in that particular four zero three forbidden domain. So chances are there are some links that are still working, right? and you may find some juicy information or you may find some vulnerability over there so always try to use always try to find as many sub, as many links as possible as many parameters as possible now with that being said let us see that how we can install this tool so the tool name is param spider and the link will be given in the description so what you need to do is you, you just need to copy the link so i'm just going to show you the github so this link will be given in the description just copy this and just clone it in your Kali Linux machine. Also, if you don't know how to install Kali Linux on Windows machine without the help of VM, VMware Workstation or VirtualBox, then go ahead and check out my previous video in which I've shown you that how we can install it using WSL. Now, with that being said, let us try to clone this repository into our local machine. So just type git clone and paste the link. Now, in my case, I have already cloned this particular repository. So it is just going to show that Spider already exists and it is not an empty directory. But in your case, it is going to take a little bit of time depending on your internet connection. Now, once you have this uh, repository cloned in your machine, what you need to do, you need to simply visit to that particular uh, folder, clear the terminal. And now if I type LS, you can see that we have this tool in our machine, right? Now let us see that how we can use this particular tool. So syntax is pretty simple. Just need to type Python 3, paramspider.py. Just hit enter and it will show you all the possible uh, functionalities, all the possible flags it currently supports. So we have minus D domain, minus S for finding subdomains, minus L for the level, minus E exclude, minus O so we can uh, save the output, minus P some placeholders. So what basically we are going to do, we are just going to go with the minus G flag and nothing else. It will work just perfectly fine. Now let us do one thing. So Let's suppose that our target is ripe.net, for example. And now we want to extract all the URLs that are that have a parameter in it, basically, right? So we can just go ahead and type the following command, Python 3, the program name, minus G flag, and paste the link, oh, sorry, paste the domain. Here, don't try to paste the link. So don't try to paste something like HTTPS ripe.net, it will, it will not, not work. So instead, what you need to do, you need to type ripe.net, hit enter, and let us see. So it's going to take some time depending on your internet connection and depending on the total amount of URLs which have parameters. So let us wait for a few seconds. 
and we should be able to see some output over here. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, there are these many URLs which have some parameters in it, right? As you can see over this, we have this URL which have a parameter J session ID. We have a version equals to first, so we can go ahead and we can test vulnerabilities on each of these parameters. Some vulnerabilities like uh, session mis a session misconfiguration, maybe cross site scripting, SQL injection, SSRF, right? So as you can see over here, we have a source parameter, so it may be vulnerable to SSR SSRF, right? So we can just go ahead and test each of this URL. Now we can also do one more thing that suppose if you're uh, looking for cross site scripting, then what you can do, you can automate this whole process, right? And if you don't know that how we can automate the process of XSS, then go ahead and watch my previous video in which I've shown you that how we can perform XSS automation for bug bounty programs. Now, as you can see, we have so many URLs over there, right? Now, let us try to understand how this particular tool, Param Spider, works basically. So it is doing nothing, but it is using a API from Wayback Machine and it is, it is crawling all the possible URLs that the site have. And then it filters out all of those particular endpoints which have some parameters in it. Simple as that. Now the program is, is a little bit complex, but the working, the algorithm is pretty much same. So this is the reason why we are able to see only those uh, URLs which have some parameters like question JSS and ID. Uh, we have even some CSS files. So we can just type uh, minus E flag and we can just ex exclude this particular extension CSS, maybe JPEG, right? So one more thing that you may be able to find some of the dangerous uh, URLs over here, which may leak some sensitive information. Like suppose uh, if you talk about this, like if there's DB web UI API, right? So maybe leaking some database credential, we don't know, right? So you should always test each of this uh, particular endpoint to dive deep into the application. Now, if you guys have any doubts, if you guys have any issues, then please let me know and in the comment section and also join our Telegram channel. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it right over here. Right, so go ahead and join it so that we can uh, interact with each other, we can learn together, and we can discuss about cybersecurity, about any technology that you like. So go ahead and become a part of our daily, uh, Be Practical community. So with that being said, if you guys have still any doubts, then I, I repeat again, then please ask me in the comment section. So with that being said, thanks for watching.